Hello there, it's Avinam Nirala. I'm back with my new video. In our last video, we discussed the top batsmen that are to be looked for for the upcoming World T20I. This time around, we'll discuss about the bowlers. The bowlers from each pre-qualified team in World T20I that are to be looked for. This video won't contain any all-rounders or batsmen. Guys, do watch this video till end because I'm going to put on some facts related to this place at the end of the video. Let's begin the list with the West Indian star bowler. Yes, West Indies, the defending champions. And this star bowler, it's Sheldon Cottrell, the salute man. He's absolutely brilliant bowler of limited overs cricket. He's an exceptional bowler. He bowls brilliantly with that new ball in his hand, with that old ball in his hand. So, he's definitely featuring. Next up, it's the star bowler from last World T20 as runner-up. By that I mean it's England's Chris Jordan. Chris Jordan is brilliant with the new ball. He's brilliant with the old ball. He bowls brilliantly in those middle overs. I picked him over Jofra Archer because Jofra Archer has some injury concerns going until now. So, Chris Jordan is up there. Thirdly, it's New Zealand's very own Lucky Ferguson. He's a fast bowler. No, in fact, he's a super fast bowler. He's a complete package of a bowler. He has been picked over the likes of Trent Bolt, Team Saudi, Matt Henry because he has that extra pace. Plus, his performances of late has been better than the others that I've just mentioned. So, Lucky Ferguson has that X factor due to which he's featuring in this list. Next up, it's T20's best bowler in my opinion. Yes, I'm talking about Jaspreet Bumrah. He's brilliant in bowling those Yorkers. He can bowl 6 out of 6 in that very block hole. So, Jaspreet Bumrah with his sheer Yorkers, with his sheer pace and those effective variations is right there among all Indian T20 bowlers. Yes, now it's the South African bowling sensation, the South African bowling leader. Yes, I'm talking about Kaki Sarabara from South Africa. He is way ahead than any other bowler in his whole team. He is too good. He is too good a bowler for any new ball or old ball. He was brilliant in his middle overs and he is brilliant at any stage of the game. Next up, it's Patrick Cummins. Oh, Patrick Cummins. He probably is the best fast bowler of all three formats at present context. He is brilliant with his skills. He's been picked over Mitchell Stark, a T20 sensation, because he probably is better in his arsenal. Next up, it's Pakistan's and World Cricket's new rising star. This I'm talking about Sahin Safridi, who has been picked over the likes of Mohammad Amir and Wahab Riyaz because he has that extra X factor which the other two might not have. This time I have gone with the talent rather than experience. Sainz Afridi is brilliant with that new ball, old ball in his hand. He is one of the best. Next up is the only spinner featuring in this list. Yes, I am talking about Rashid Khan from Afghanistan. He deserves this spot. This is because he possibly is the only spinner in the whole world who could overshadow the likes of any sort of pacers in such Australian decks as well. He is brilliant with his skills. He is brilliant with those leg spin variations. I possibly don't have to tell what he does. Guys, noticeably these all bowlers can bowl at any stage of the game. So, I've got some facts to put on. The facts will be related to their respective economies and strike rates. Economy here means the total amount of runs that is considered by the bowler in average. Talking about strike rate of bowlers, it means that amount of balls used to take a single wicket. Beginning with West Indies, Selden Cottrell. His economy is 7.42 whereas he strikes at the rate of 15.4 which is quite good for a modern T20 baller. Talking about England's Chris Jordan, 
His economy is 8.49, whereas his strike rate is 18.45. Uh, economy, it's a bit higher for a global T20 star, but strike rate is brilliant once again. Next up, there are Lockie Ferguson, Jasprit Bumrah, and Kaki Saravara. All these players' economies and strike rates are in the 7s and 22s. So, the strike rates might possibly be a bit higher, but the economy are brilliant. Talking about Australia's Pat Cummins, his economy is also at the 7s, whereas his strike rate is at the 18s. That's pretty impressive. Just the final two bowlers are from Pakistan and Afghanistan. They are Sain Safridi and Rashid Khan, respectively. Sain Safridi's economy is 7.54, whereas Rashid Khan's economy is 6.30. That's brilliant. That's the best among the list. Strike rates are in the 16s. Those are brilliant as well. So, how's the list, guys? Do subscribe my channel. Take care.